This is the iPad 8 Gen, which I've been using for quite a while now, and I've found some interesting features of this, which I'm going to share with you today. So, let's go. My first step is to enable guided access. If you have kids at home or if you're giving your iPad to someone else, then this feature can come in handy. This feature ensures that they stay within a specific app and prevents them from wandering into other areas of your device. But before that, you will need to set the guided access on your iPad. To do that, open settings and go to accessibility. Now scroll down to guided access and turn it on. Next, tap on passcode settings. Set a 6 digit passcode and that's it. The guided access is activated on your iPad 8 gen. From now on, whenever a kid or a person asks for your iPad, just open the app or game, press the home button 3 times and tap on the start option. Then you can give it to a kid. Also, to end the guided access, press the home button 3 times, enter the passcode, then tap on the end option to get out of the guided access mode. You can also secure a specific note in your notes app. Simply tap and hold the note you want to protect. Then select lock note option. Set a 6 digit pin and return to your note page. Tap the lock icon to secure your note. Before we move on to the next feature, please like the video and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified about our latest updates. Starting with taking screenshots from your iPad 8 gen. If you press the home button and power button at the same time, it will capture a screenshot of whatever is going on your iPad screen. Another cool way to take screenshot is to swipe up diagonally your forefinger from left to right. Also, you can effortlessly switch between recently used apps by swiping left or right with four fingers on your screen. If you need to switch between tabs while browsing in Safari, simply pinch your thumb and forefinger on the screen. This action displays all your open tabs on your iPad, making it easy to navigate between them seamlessly. If you accidentally mistyped or deleted something that you didn't mean to, then don't worry. You can simply give your iPad a gentle shake and tap the undo option to correct it. You can enable all these gestures by navigating to multitasking and gestures and toggling on gesture options. In case you're watching a video or reading a web article and you wish to take notes, then simply swipe diagonally from right to left to open floating notes window for easy multitasking. How about watching videos and taking notes at the same time? This is a simple yet handy feature of your iPad 8 Gen, which can be activated from multitasking and gesture settings, and checking split view and slide over option. To use it, just swipe vertically to open all the background windows on your iPad screen. Now tap and hold your notes icon and drag and drop it to the YouTube or your Safari browser. Finally, tap on this window and you're ready to use two apps at once. If you wish to know more about the iPad 8 Gen, then you can watch our full review video by tapping on the i button. You can customize your iPad's control center and add useful controls to it. To do this, you will need to open the iPad settings and select control center. Here you will see a list of controls that can be used to add new control shortcuts to your control center. Now you can do multiple things from your control center without opening the settings of your iPad 8. If you open the Files app on your iPad and tap on this icon right above Recents, then tap on the three blue dots, you will see an option called Scan Documents. Just select this option and point your iPad to Documents and it will scan the text. Now, let's talk about the Measure app. It's like having a virtual tape measure right on your iPad. Open the Measure app, point your iPad at an object and you can measure its dimensions quickly and accurately. Do you feel that your iPad is too bright to use at night? If yes, then don't worry. You can reduce its blue light intensity by turning on the night shift feature from the display and brightness settings. But if you don't like the yellowish appearance of your iPad, then I have another useful feature that can help you to manually reduce the intensity of the white light without using the night shift feature. Just open the settings and tap on accessibility. Then select display and text size option. From here, scroll down to reduce white point and turn it on. Here you will see a scale to manage the intensity of the bright colors. Drag it as per your preference, but before that, ensure that you have lowered the screen brightness from the control center. Also before you go outside, make sure to toggle off the reduce white point to use your iPad in a brighter environment. If you have difficulty reading small texts on your iPad, then you can use the zoom controller feature to read on your iPad screen in large fonts. This feature is really helpful when you forgot to carry your glasses with you. You can enable this feature in your iPad's accessibility settings. 
Just tap on zoom option and toggle on the zoom button. The iPad is packed with numerous exciting features that we don't know about. I hope this video will be helpful to enhance your user experience. Let me know in the comments which hidden feature or tips or tricks you already knew. That's it for this one. If you're new to our channel, please like the video and subscribe to Gizmo Rush for more insightful tips and tricks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.